I get asked all the time from clients that work with our organization, why are so many Medicare Advantage plans $0 monthly premiums? Hi, my name is Christian Brindle. I'm the founder and operator of Christian Brindle Insurance Services, also known as Everything Senior Insurance. And in this video, I'm gonna answer for you this question that we commonly get asked about how Medicare Advantage plans can be $0 monthly premium. I often get people that respond to that fact with a question or maybe a statement even stating that it sounds too good to be true. It sounds like there's a catch. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down completely and explain why this is the case. So when somebody is on Medicare, I think it's important to understand this. First off, they typically get Medicare Parts A and Medicare Parts B, okay? We, we refer to those in my office as original Medicare, okay? And these are the two parts of Medicare that you get that come from the government. And so when you get Medicare Part A, Medicare Part A is able to be obtained if either you or your spouse has at least 10 years of working credits paying into FICA taxes over the course of your working life, okay? Um, Social Security and Medicare, what I mean by FICA taxes, okay? So typically, because of that, if you have at least 10 years or more, you or your spouse, you can get Part A for no, for no monthly charge. Medicare Part B does have a monthly premium, and for most people in 2024, at the time of recording this video, it's $174.70 a month. Now, this is subject to change, and it's likely to go up each and every year just due to the ever-increasing costs of things and inflation. So... You're paying that Medicare Part B premium, and if you're in a higher tax bracket, you can pay more, but that's a subject for another video. And when you have original Medicare, typically the way this works is if that's what you had and that's how you were running your claims, your medical, your Medicare would cover medical bills. Medicare Part A and B cover two different sides of medical bills, right? They kind of work like two pieces of a puzzle that fit together to give you medical coverage. And so when you have medical coverage, they have deductibles on the A side and on the B side, but then for the most part, you're ending up looking at 80% coverage and they leave behind 20% for you to pay. And so when you have a Medicare Advantage plan that comes into the picture, you're essentially running your Medicare through a private insurance company, right? They're administering your claims and your benefits for Medicare. That way, Medicare does not any longer have to pay that 80% any more out towards your claims. Well, as you can imagine, that is a tremendous burden off of Medicare's shoulders if the insurance company is willing to come in and provide that type of service. But you know insurance companies, insurance companies are, for the most part, for-profit organizations, okay? There's even been um, accusations made on not-for-profit insurance companies that they really operate as they are for profit, but that's also a topic for another day. Um, they're not going to just do that out of the goodness of their hearts, right? Um, they are going to ask the government for something in exchange. And so in, a, in exchange, the government funds the insurance company every month to take care of those claims. So that's where that's coming from. Medicare saves on having to pay 80% of those medical bills and being responsible and being on the hook for people's claims on Medicare. The insurance company takes on the responsibility. They take on administering the benefits and in exchange Medicare, instead of saving that money over here, they pass it over to the insurance company. So people always say, well, why would the government do that, right? Why does the government do that? Well, the, the main reason is the government is, and, and, I, and before I say this, usually what I find is no matter where you come from, no matter what religion you are, no matter what ethnicity you might be, no matter your age, your demographic, one thing we seem to all be able to agree on in this country, in America, is that the government is inefficient and wasteful. <laughs> they are not good at being an insurance company, whereas insurance companies are, and they, they can operate on a much more efficient manner. So they can provide not only every all the coverage that Medicare was providing at the same cost, but they can provide it while providing a slew of extra benefits in addition to that. That's why most Medicare Advantage plan oftentimes comes with prescription drug coverage included. Original Medicare does not. Comes with ancillary benefits like dental, vision, hearing, Oftentimes, Original Medicare does not. It pays for additional preventative services like yearly routine physicals. Original Medicare does not, et cetera, et cetera, right? So the insurance companies say, listen, government, we're better at being an insurance company than you are. You're wasteful. You're inefficient. We are none of those things. Give us the set amount of money every month, and we'll be able to provide either a $0 premium or a very low monthly premium, depending on the area, depending on the population, and depending on the benefits. And 
you pass on all the responsibility to us, you wipe, you wash your hands of it. So that's where Medicare Advantage plans come from. That's essentially how they operate and how they're structured. And that is why oftentimes they come at a $0 monthly premium. Because you watched all the way to the end of this video, people always ask me, what is the amount that the government funds the insurance companies? I mean, it's going to vary and there's no exact, there's no exact number in, about this that's a, that's 100% documented. But the number that I usually give to people, because for the most part, it's going to vary on the area, it's going to vary on the location, it's going to vary on the type of plan. But for the most part, it's pretty safe to say it's in the ballpark of about $1,000 a month per individual. So $12,000 a year per individual. So it's not a small amount. The insurance companies, though, that's why Medicare Advantage plans, when you look at the benefits of them, they end up looking very rich, especially when you compare them to other types of insurance you might have had throughout your life, whether it be work coverage, uh, marketplace coverage, or anything like that. So I hope you found this video helpful, insightful. I hope it answered your question. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. We really appreciate you. If you need help with your Medicare and you're just feeling lost and confused, you need somebody to be your advocate. My company is licensed in 45 different states. We can work with most people in the country. So give us a call, 801-255-5340. Again, 801-255-5340. We have no charge and no cost at all for our services, and there's no obligation. So even if you just wanted to call in, ask some questions, and get an idea for what things might look like and what we might recommend for you, we would love that. So give us a call. Also, our information and our phone number and our website is down in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Smash the like button if it, if, if it helped you and you want to help more people find this information who desperately are confused and just overwhelmed with their Medicare. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, happy Medicare.